friend Libby here. Welcome back to my kitchen. I'm going to film another grocery haul, but before I go and get my groceries, I thought I would show you what my menu plan for the week is and what fresh stuff we have in stock. Okay, so when I do my planning, I just plan out dinners. Sometimes I'll do lunches, and that's sort of why I've created a square for lunches. Sometimes I think, oh, we're going to have that that day, but at this stage, I have no ideas for the week. I'm thinking I'll probably do a salad today, but it might be a rice bowl. We'll see. Um, so tonight we're going to have a corn snitchel or vegetarian snitchel and some baked vegetables because I've got some pumpkin to use up and I'll do some frozen cauliflower on the side. Uh, Wednesday night's going to be a new recipe and I'm making these ones. So it's a cheesy vegetable brown rice casserole. Uh, Thursday night Athena is making an empowered noodle bowl with orange maple miso dressing. That's from the Oshie Glows cookbook. That's a leftover one from last week that didn't get made. Friday night she's having a friend over so we've got some frozen lasagna in the freezer and she's going to do some tiny potatoes and maybe some other vegetables with that, probably corn or something. Saturday night I'm going to do either sweet bean burritos or if I'm lazy or not feeling well or just be a sweet potato with baked beans. That's a super simple really yummy dinner that we have as like an emergency standby. Then Sunday night Athena is going to make a one pot taco pasta dish. It's a new recipe and it sounds quite nice. So we're trying out a few new ones this week. And I've got here, I'm going to try and make up sometime some freezer friendly roast veggie burritos. Got Missy writing, haven't I? And do a cauliflower soup for Christy. And I also want to make hummus. So I've made notes of things that I want to make. So when we've got time or the energy, I will do these ones. <laughs> hummus I'm going to try and get to today. And then I've got my grocery list, as much as I can sort of see that I need. Mainly fresh stuff, I think, today. Because our pantries are pretty well stocked, but I'll show you in the fridges. Kind of, oh, kind of getting empty, but I can sort of see we've got leftover dinner from last night. Uh, but soup that I made up, vegetables are actually getting a bit low. We've really only got some celery, which I only use for soups, um, Brussels sprouts. So I need to do a stir fry, at least for myself. Made for lunch today, I might even do that. Got one lone carrot, one little tiny capsicum, and some parsley that's probably past its best now. <laughs> And then up here I've got cauliflower which I'm going to use tonight and a pumpkin I'm going to use tonight. And then we've just got some kale and spinach which I'll restock and some cucumbers. I'll buy some more of them for salads and a bit of lettuce which is probably a bit past its best now. It's okay but it's a bit past its best so I'll be buying some more. I've um, got some strawberries which we'll probably have tonight and the rock melon I might have this afternoon. So I'll use up a bit of stuff that's in the fridge. We've been trying to keep rice in the fridge, as I said, rice bowls have become a favourite around here. So, if I can have a salad, I'll have a rice bowl for lunch. And leftovers for the dogs. And then, also, I need to get some milk. I'll just send that's the milk's down to that. I don't drink normal milk anymore. I've got my soy milk and I've got um, almond milk that I made last night. So, that's the sort of situation in the fridge. And then I know we haven't got a lot of fruit left. <laughs> I might try and make something with the bananas, and then we've got a few bananas that's still okay to eat. And um, a lemon that's been zested, <laughs> and just a couple of apples. So I definitely need to restock up on fruit. Okay, I'm now back with my groceries. And just before I show you what I've got, I just wanted to clarify how our family eats. I've got a few comments, I think, on my last video. It's always someone who doesn't know me very well, doesn't watch vlogs. And um, it wasn't a bad comment, but... <laughs> I don't know, I can't remember it now, but I remember thinking at the time she doesn't obviously know how we eat and I hadn't specified in the video. So just a quick rundown. Myself and Christy, my youngest, are vegetarians. Um, my husband and my eldest, Athena, are not. What we try and do is eat plant-based as much as possible. I keep trying to improve our diet. We try and have low additives and preservatives. It's not perfect, but I keep trying to make better choices every single week that I go groceries and I think for the most part our diet's improved a lot um, over the last few months or six months since we tried started trying to do plant-based we're still aiming there that's the ultimate goal for me personally is to eat a vegan plant-based diet but with the family <laughs> that's not keen on that it's a bit difficult anyway here we go this was from Coles this week so I got some juice I was going to get the Coles brand one, but it's from a concentrate. I don't really know the difference, but I decided I think I'd rather get a like proper juice, just 100% fruit juice, but the youngest isn't real keen on pulp, so I got the pulp-free one. I got my usual um, juice that I like. I make this up a third of this and two-thirds water, 
And then this one was different. They used to do this, I'm sure they used to do it with a green tea, and it's been unavailable for some time. I actually really liked it. Even though I don't like passion fruit, this used to be my favourite of the two. But I'm pretty sure it used to be green tea, not coconut water. So anyway, it'll be interesting. I'll get one to try it. Uh, milk for the milk drinkers of the family. I couldn't get my normal milk that I like to get. But um, anyway, cold sour cream, which is sort of the preferred one. And I just got, I like to have like a thick cream on standby for whatever we might need it for. Um, butter that we got, we buy this butter soft. Try again, we try and get this one that's is a less things added as possible. Now this one just has cream and that is all. <laughs> is that all? I can't really read it properly. No, cream, water, salt, milk fat. So, no, no, again, no preservatives, additives. Mexican cheese, this is for a recipe this week. Corn mints for a recipe. Essentials we're going to have tonight for dinner. I've only got two so I bought another packet. Uh, I hadn't seen this before, spicy kidney bean hummus. I don't usually buy the pre-bought ones because they do have preservatives in them, which this one does, but I thought I would give it a try. I've just finished my hummus. I've actually got the tahini on the bench to make a new one, but in case I don't get to it today and I want some hummus, <laughs> I've got that. And the, it'll be... where's the date on it? Oh, there we go. Lid. 20, wow, that does not have a long date. I didn't check that one, obviously. 26th of May. Okay, so I've got about a week to eat that. Um, this is the sliced cheese that we're buying at the moment. Kevin really likes these Chobani oats with Chobani yogurt with the oats. I haven't tried them, but he really likes it. These are his favourite. These are pricey though. They're like 2 dollars Sometimes you can get them on sale. But these ones I got um, 21st of May. So I think, oh my gosh, what's today? I think it's the 18th. So he'll eat these over the next two days and then he can go to his banana ones. Tofu for a recipe and then free range ham. I like to only buy free range meat, particularly pigs and poultry. Obviously everything would be ideal. Uh, couldn't, I can't buy free range turkey anymore from Coles. Keep going and asking and they haven't got any more so I will not buy a normal turkey. So instead I got Kevin some roast beef. It's probably not free range especially from the supermarket, but yeah, that's the best I can do, is I have to feed other people who used to buy lunch out every single day and obviously would be eating meat that was not free range, so I supply his lunch now, so it's better than it was. Okay, I'll put that away and get out the next lot. Okay, not a lot of groceries as such this week. I bought some more of the soil freezing flour. I like to buy this one with the extra fiber in it, um, so that's what I try and get. Uh, jumpies, <laughs> Chrissy has these in her lunch. They're not the best, but at least they're only a small little packet. I got some of the organic sesame corn things. I like those. Chicken rice crackers for the kids. Some of the bond soy milk. It's very expensive, this milk, but it is a much better quality soy milk than the other ones that you buy. The tomato chutney. Kevin really likes this on his sandwiches, and I've had it occasionally. It's been really nice. Stocked up a bit on the Mexican chili beans from Coles. We really like these. They're our favourite brand of little Mexican beans. Got two lots of the refried beans. Now these aren't our favourite, the old El Paso ones. We really like the refried black beans that we get at Costco or sometimes you can buy Amy's organic ones in shops. But we're out of those and Costco didn't have it on our last trip. <laughs> so that's what we've got. These are for the dogs. <laughs> sometimes when soup's on sale, I'll buy just some vegetable soups to throw in their dinner. Um, I'll make all our homemade soup, so that is handy to have sometimes for the dogs. Got some baking chips. Christy doesn't like the dark bits that I, the ch dark chocolate bits that I have, so I've got some milk ones for her to have in baking that I do for her. Taco shells just to have on standby. And I've got a couple of new things, mainly for Kevin to try on his lunches. Um, got these brekkie on the go. Now I haven't actually seen, and I did see these ones. These are this little um, bite things. I thought they looked quite interesting. So these are more for Kevin, but probably handy, I guess, for anyone who wanted a, a quick little, and more a meal serving. I, oh my gosh, look at all the ingredients. Not too sure I'll be having them. Well, they might not be as bad as it sounds. But anyway, I thought they might be handy for Kevin. 
Uh, and then I got, these were more, I well, thinking of for me, these were healthier. But for Kevin too, these actually call my eye for Kevin because he loves banana stuff. So, um, I don't even know what these are. <laughs> Let's open them and have a look what they are. Oh, these were bars. Okay. Little bar, salted caramel and banana and quinoa. So I have to see what he thinks of those. And then these were biscuits. I assume these are kind of supposed to be like the Belveda biscuits. First open it there. Oh, well. So again, I had a range of flavours. I haven't seen them before. Here's the breakfast biscuits. So okay, so it feels like it feels like one big biscuit. This was raspberry, white chocolate, coconut, and ancient grains. So mainly, I, I tend to get the Belveda biscuits um, just for sometimes when I haven't got my homemade ones. Usually, I have the homemade. I have my chia cookies. If you watch my vlogs, you know what I'm talking about. But I thought these again. If I haven't got anything, I'd rather have something that's a bit more, that's a bit better for me, maybe. There would be better ingredients, even though they're not the best. That would be better than the other packaged biscuits. So, we'll try those, and I'll, if I rebuy them, you'll know they're good. I also bought a loaf of ciabatta bread from Coles, and then from the bakery, from Baker's Delight. I've got two loads of country grain. I'm going to pop one in the freezer, and some rolls. Some with seeds for Kevin, and some plain ones for Christy. <laughs> Oh, and I also bought this little pot plant. I don't, I love having fresh flowers, but they're so expensive, so I haven't had fresh flowers for such a long time. This little plant was $10, and I think, well, that might be a really good compromise. I could have it really on the kitchen bench or up, up there. Probably put it on the kitchen table, I think. It's, um, it's really cute, so <laughs> hopefully it will survive okay. Okay, well, I guess as it should be, fruit and veggies made at the bulk of our grocery shop. So the few things I did pick up in Coles, I got the watermelon and Coles because I thought it looked pretty good. Grapes, maybe spinach, and I bought beetroot slaw. But having a look at the packet, there really isn't much beetroot in that. I think that's really disgraceful, and I call it beetroot slaw. I really should. I know we find it very handy, and it's still good for us. But I feel like I get really ripped off. 16% beetroot, it says on the back. So you got broccoli stems and carrot. Oh. Still good for me I guess but it annoys me. The rest came from the local fruit shop. So I've got um, I think it's a green oak lettuce. So then I did some green some kale chips tomorrow afternoon for the kids. Some sp spring onion. Uh, that's for a recipe. Some carrots. Mushroom. We'll just go this way. Some sweet potatoes. Bananas. I've got some yellow. I've still got some left as you saw and I've got a whole bunch of green ones. Cauliflower. I'm going to make cauliflower soup for Christy. Some broccoli to a recipe, and I was just standing there looking at the broccoli, and it looked really nice. So I'll probably have that tonight. Some little potatoes for our dinner on Friday night, and then some little mandarins, a couple of oranges. They are imported from. Oh no, I said they're American, but they're from Australia. Oh, there you go. Okay, so they're Aussie um, <laughs> oranges. I don't like buying imported fruit, but I do sometimes because I still feel it's better than not having fruit if it's one fruit that someone likes. Um, some pears, they're very rock hard, I need to soften a bit. Um, capsicum, got three little um, pink lady apples and two of the red delicious, I prefer those, so got them. Some tomatoes, a cucumber, and I also picked up this sauce. Ingredient wise, looks really good, so I'll give that a try. I'm on the hunt to try and re replace the bone sucking sauce that we really like, but I have to order online, so... We'll see what that one's like. So I hope you enjoyed my grocery haul. If you've got any questions about anything, just let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye.